Welcome back everyone for another video on Python image manipulation and today's objective is going to be to make a black and white posterized image. So let's get started. Let's first save our file, um, our JS folder video 4, I'll just call it BW for black and white. Okay. So first thing we want to do is create our function so define black and white we're going to pass in a picture as a parameter and so that I don't mess up like I did in the last video I'm going to call my duplicated picture picture and not copy is going to be equal to um, let me find the correct function. It's called duplicate picture right here. And we're going to pass in that picture parameter. So now that we have a copy of our picture, we're going to loop through all the pixels in this one. So for a pixel and get pixels, plural, remember, um, of our picture. Now to make a black and white image, there are many, many different ways, but we want to make a posterized black and white images, meaning that we want to constraint, we have, want to have constraint levels on different levels in our black and white image. So the first thing we want to do is actually get something called the luminance. And the luminance is just a fancy word for the average and the red, green, and blue values. So, luminance, oh, oh god, luminance, ah, uh, hold on, let me respell it. Like that. Equals, and make sure you put brackets and divide by three, just so you don't forget. And now you can get all the red the green and blue out. So we get red of our pixel plus get blue of our pixel plus we get green of our pixel. Let me shut this off. And there you go. That's our luminance. Now we want to check if our luminance is less than 50, less than 100, less than 150, and so on. You can do um, whatever categories you want, but these categories turned out pretty well for me, so if, just copy and paste this, if luminance is, say, less than 50, then we want to set the color of that pixel to um, a new color of 50, 50, 50. And remember when um, um, all the red, green, and blue values are the same, that means it's going to be a gray color. So it's not exactly going to be a purely black and white um, image, but if you didn't want to make that, all you have to do is put 0, 0, 0 for black and 255, 255, 255 for white. Or, actually, uh, Jython has these um, built-in colors called black and white. So if you're interested in doing that, just put black and white instead of make color. And I'm just going to put 50, 50, 50, just because it gives um, uh, a better looking image. So if our luminance now less than 100 and it's just going to be a lot of, oops, copy and pasting less than say 100 and now let's change these to 100 okay uh, this is less than 50. We can say that. Oh, 
less than 200. We're almost done. Um, let's say 200. Uh, 200. 200. And if it's none of those, then we just want to set the color to say white. So, white. And white again is purple because it's a built in um, GES color. So, don't get freaked out by that. It's the same thing as if I were to put this new color in, but as 255 for each of the red, green, uh, blue, and red channels. Okay. And uh, we are just missing one thing, and that should be our return statement. So we are going to return this picture. Okay. Don't forget to load your program in. And let's say our picture is equal to a new picture object. So make a picture. And we're going to reach in our finder to find a picture. And I'm going to pick, um, I think it was image 6. I looked turned out pretty well. Um, so let me just show it to you guys first. So here is our original image. And we're going to call um, black and white picture equal to our black and white function. And we're going to pass in that picture object. Wait for it. And now we're going to show that black and white picture. And here is the transformation. Now you see there's only a certain range of colors in this image. There's like uh, white, there's gray, there's darker gray, and there's much darker gray. And those are the constraints that we uh, put in for our if statements. And again, you can do this for just black and white although you won't get as much detail as you do in here like this woman would probably just be all white except maybe her hair so feel free to do that and guys thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video